hello friends uh, my name is professor ms rao i am in uh, uh, seattle and i am enjoying the nature i am going out uh, to share my story and my life experiences and i am author of uh, uh, 53 books including the award winning book titled see the light in for which the novel is peaceful is the lama is in a poor world i have particular is a diversified experience in india and those business teaching and training i am a survivor of brain stroke in the year of 2021 i survived because of my positive psychology and because of a lot of subconscious work i was born in, into a toxic family grew up in a toxic environment now i am recording and uh, i am recording and sharing my story with my social networks i would appreciate if you could uh, share this video with your social networks yeah two uh, two cats we have two cats mugli and bagira oh, they are enjoying oh my goodness life is great both cats they are enjoying good good very good eh? i'll i'm so now i started walking by holding with my left hand my right hand right ha- uh, my right hand uh, is uh, problematic my right hand has been paralyzed and th- my right hand uh, right shoulder is numb so i have so many challenges in my life so many challenges in my life now i am recording and i start i i uh, now i started walking and i am basically a storyteller i keep uh, creating my own stories and uh, uh, and i share uh, my stories with the uh, human kind the weather in uh, seattle is very Uh, uh pleasant and uh, here uh, people are amicable and adjustable and it's a bit be- it's a beautiful city and we are in uh, fall season so so i hope uh, you will enjoy the fall season some people uh, uh we are in uh, halloween uh, season uh i think october 31st is uh, uh, october 31st is the uh, halloween uh, day october 31st is my birthday and uh, october 31st is also a diwali in india so it's coincidence and uh, i was born in a tiny village in india and uh, i uh, i was born uh, on october uh, 31st in the year 1963 uh, in a tiny village and i was born into a toxic family and grow up in a toxic environment so so at the age of 18 i joined the indian air force and after i joined the indian air force i grew as a healthy citizen and i grew as a leader and uh, i served in the indian air force uh, for 12 years in the lowest rank of a corporal people might think that uh, i was a commission officer no and uh, i served for 12 years and uh, uh, i led an exciting life in indian air force and uh, the first salary i re- i received uh, 
uh, if I could recall around four four hundred rupees. So I uh, I sent uh, all my money from Indian Air Force to my uh, family members to support them, and uh, I have done my best possible with the limited money. In those days, uh, there were no opportunities, and I was uh, born in a lower middle class family, and unfortunately, I still belong to a lower uh, family. lower middle class family in india and i don't have two wheeler i don't have four wheeler i don't get pension i don't have any regular income i am 61 years old with so many challenges so so my life has been very challenging and troublesome with so many challenges and betrayals and after i joined the indian force I, i sent money to my family members supported them i gave them gold i gave money to buy property and uh, finally my own siblings <laughs> betrayed and, uh, and i was not given any property and uh, i was betrayed by my own siblings so, so so that was the kind of family where i was born into and uh, luckily i came out and uh, my mother was uh, very toxic and uh, no naysayer and my father uh, was a litigant my father was a hard worker but he was a litigant and uh, he didn't uh, 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 encourage education much uh, uh, even if you wanted to encourage he had his own uh, challenges financial challenges so i used to go to far distant places in my childhood uh, and uh, i visit uh, libraries to acquire no- knowledge abraham lincoln has been my inspiration since my childhood and i used to work in the tea stall Uh, with my father and uh, we had our own financial challenges so lots of challenges and uh, luckily i joined indian air force i am what i am because of uh, indian air force so after s- serving for 12 years uh, i wanted to um, i left indian air force i wanted to become an uh, indian air force uh, officer and i was uh, sh- shortlisted but i could not uh, uh, top in the merit and subsequently i made two more uh, attempts but it was i was rejected so i was uh, trying to explore uh, opportunities uh, then my father in law invited me to join business he had his own uh, shops so then i trusted and uh, joined and uh, unfortunately my own brother in law and father in law back tracked back tracked and back stabbed that was one more challenge so my life is full of uh, struggles and sufferings i wanted to do something big but i could not i could not grow because of uh, negative ambience and uh, the the good news is that uh, i have good friends from indian air force they stood by they stood by me like a, a rock and the uh, air force connections of course they were not again officers they were uh, Uh, lower rank uh, officials from indian air force they were all airmen but they were uh, and i was lucky to have good friends in indian air force and uh, somehow uh, came, came out of uh, challenges and uh, after serving for 12 years uh, in the indian air force i did business for uh, 12 to 13 years i believe then uh, 
things are uh, so complicated and finally i left uh, business and uh, became a faculty member in the year uh, 2007 so when i had business challenges <laughs> nobody came forward to support and uh, luckily my own education helped me because i was a postgraduate and uh, let me share with you uh, uh, at the age of 18 i joined indian air force i was uh, college robot then again i continued uh, in the indian air force by paying uh, condonation fee then continued for uh, one more year and uh, uh, i took private tuition by paying money then uh, I became a graduate. Yeah. So this is uh, so so lots of uh, things, uh, lots of uh, struggles and sufferings, uh, and uh, uh, in the Indi in the Indian Air Force itself, I acquired a couple of qualifications like DME, BSc. MBA, PGDCLL, PGDBM, all these qualifications I acquired through private education, not uh, regular education. People might think that I uh, acquired qualifications from uh, reputed uh, universities. All my education was through private education and uh, I used to go to far distant places to visit uh, libraries in the Indian Air Force and I sacrificed my personal time. and uh, 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 completed my qualifications and I visited some libraries in the Indian Air Force. I visited libraries uh, uh, wherever I was in the Indian, Indian Air Force, whether it is Chandigarh or Jodhpur. So, so my life, my education was not regular and it was a private education, not a regular education. And uh, there was no connectivity for my education. Whatever the opportunities uh, uh, were available, I went, grabbed and acquired. So there was no consistency for my education because I was a DME means Diploma in Mechanical Engineering, which I acquired from Indian Air Force. Then degree, I discontinued and continued. Uh, that that was regular and uh, again uh, I discontinued and then again I did MBA, private education, PGDCLL, I did uh, night college in Jodhpur University, PGDBM, acquired private education, then uh, MBA I earned from Indira Gandhi National Open University, it was again distance mode, I paid uh, fee and I used to prepare assignments then I, I finally got my MBA so whatever the opportunities I got I went oh, beautiful huh? <laughs> so uh, that was the story of my educational background in the year 2007 uh, I became a faculty member and uh, at that time when I, I had business challenges uh, only the education that my uh, MBA helped me to become a faculty member that helped so education helps you not 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 only academically but also to uh, have a knowledge uh, the qualification helped me in my own case. Having an education, having an uh, education is always good. Education opens the window to the world. Whether it's academic or non-academic, education helps you a lot. It all depends on how you view, how you avail the opportunities. People are cycling, good. 
गुड वेरी गुड सो टू थाउजेंड सेवन आई बिकेम ए फैकल्टी मेम्बर सो आई एम सर्किंग बैक टू द स्टोरी बिकॉज इन बिटवीन वाइल वॉकिंग सम पीपल सिग्नल नॉट टू वॉक सो आई वेटेड ओके फाइन सो सर्किंग बैक टू माई स्टोरी इन द इयर टू थाउजेंड सेवन I became a faculty member uh, because I had a MBA qualification. So in the in the in the same year 2007, I applied for PhD. That is at the December 2007. It was about to be closed, which I didn't know. Uh, then I the fee was around nine nine thousand or ten thousand. That was the fee. That was the salary I got for a month. from a private college that i invested for education I always invest uh, my money for education whether it, whether it is for my two sons or for myself and also i funded for the education of my own sister and uh, 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 one of my friends so i supported uh, education and i didn't take any money from anybody and nobody funded me nobody educated me nobody encouraged me to acquire qualifications so everything happened in that way fine so in the 2007 december i applied for a phd i think 9000 or 10000 i paid fee then i joined so uh, within a week that means 2008 first week i came to that the fee was hiked up and things were changed uh, and i i i i i had a passion for writing uh, even uh, very long back and i used to write articles and publish articles in various magazines so those uh, books magazines and articles which were there that i presented to my d to my uh, supervisor then uh, he agreed then i joined so then uh, 2011 i got my phd in soft skills so oh. so 2007 i got my phd uh, that to a lot of struggles i we i didn't have money my younger son also we uh, didn't have money Uh, so what are the little gold we had we sold so lots of challenges it was a very challenging and i had to uh, pay money for uh, my younger son's uh, fee and uh, i had to pay money for my phd oh so lots of uh, challenges financial challenges and uh, finally i got my phd from srtmu nanded swami swami ra sr srtmu swami srtmu uh, uh, university uh, from uh, maharashtra uh, which is in uh, nanded i and and uh, total money i spent for uh, uh, phd was around uh, 50000 in those days so that money i got when i joined in the college i think uh, the salary i got was around 50000 so uh, so lots of uh, challenges uh Uh, i worked in the private colleges uh, sometimes they were not paying uh, salaries sometimes didn't pay any salaries in the private colleges it's a very challenging for me my two children and my wife uh, i uh, didn't have own cot uh, we didn't have a cot for uh, a decade and we lived in a single bedroom rented flat which was around 400 sft square feet so you can you can imagine the kind of challenges we had we slept on the floor without cot 
in a single bedroom rented apartment and uh, colleges were not paying uh, salaries properly delayed sometimes they didn't pay salaries also so lots of challenges we had so what are the money i got from private colleges i used to fund for my uh, children's education i mean so they, they were graduates uh, luckily my both uh, sons are post graduates my elder son is a post graduate btech uh, mba my younger my younger son has done masters in uh, syracuse university which is a very reputed university and my younger son got uh, some discount from the scholarship and uh, i paid uh, money mobilizing from various sources and i and for the, for paying that money also we have lots of challenges because we didn't have properties to pledge our mortgage so i whatever the little uh, investments were there that i have invested step by step it was i think three fold or four fold uh, strategy every step i had a challenge first uh, first time i invested uh, 5 lakhs because we we had to pay for uh, health uh, in us for joining uh, university and we applied again that money uh, then again we paid uh, this uh, for health insurance so that itself costed uh, around 5 uh, lakhs including uh, admission fee admission free and uh, shortlisting the universities so like that uh, then the second step was uh, we uh, second uh, was i pay i arranged money from uh, uh, other sources uh, like insurance money uh, then third thing uh, we sold some uh, small properties and fourth Uh, one more property. so whatever the little properties were there we show, we show we sold step by step we had uh, problems oh okay oh, good yeah thank you uh, here uh, only when we are allowed then we can walk good 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 so its a view is excellent i think the children are going to school uh ah. so then again finally we needed uh, one of, i paid uh, one and a half lakh uh, for kano uh, for at the time of uh, attending the kano occasion so that was one more problem and when i sent my son uh first time from uh, uh, india to uh, us he wanted a uh, money around uh, that 13000 or 15000 to, to buy a, a coat that was one thing so uh, it's very challenging for me uh, especially a person from a lower middle class family like me we had a lot of problems uh, uh, luckily my worked my younger sir worked very hard and is very intelligent also things fell into the place and uh, he became a, he became an uh, alumnus of syracuse university then i also wanted to do i wanted to encourage my elder son to go for a, a masters in australia but things didn't work out for my elder son but for my younger son things worked out so we tried our best for younger son and elder elder son for younger son things fell into the place for elder son things didn't fall into the place uh, but then he is working 
in a private company my two sons are working in private companies and they are i'm happy for 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 my two sons because they are leading from the front and they empathize with me they don't complain against me so lots of challenge in challenges in my life so uh, in the year 2010 i uh, became an author i became an author i uh, published uh, various types of uh, books in different genre like education learning leadership strategy uh, then diversity oh. and mindfulness like that i don't stick to one particular uh, area of activity whether it's my life or education whatever it is i never uh, did things uh, in a proper manner whatever the opportunities uh, i got i grabbed them and moved on so there is no consistency in my uh, books because my books are of different genre some are about diversity education learning mindfulness ex- executive education gender so like that uh, so many uh, areas i did it but the consistency in my life is that uh, uh, i am a self starter a self learner yeah let me share with you one more thing uh, i am a late bloomer dyslexic adhd with ocd add to that the brain stroke worsened my health in the year uh, 20 21 so doctors thought that i won't survive of the brain shock uh, but i survived because of my uh, tremendous will power and because of the power of my subconscious mind and because of my healthy habits usually surviving is a big ch- ch- uh, challenge uh, Uh, at the age of 57 and uh, people uh, uh, so some of them remain in the bed only and doctors also thought that i would be in the uh, on, i would be on the bed forever but because of my healthy uh, habits and because of the god's grace uh, are uh, so i survived i am able to walk but i am not able to walk confidently and i can't type with my right hand and i can't eat with my right hand so lots of challenges so life taught me many lessons and life is great life is amazing life is uh, exciting life is uh, creative life is uh, a miracle life is a magic life is full of opportunities so you must avail the opportunities now time is 28 minutes so that is so i'll come back so i'll go a little bit forward and come back because 28 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes uh, one hour it would take so uh, 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 i worked in the private colleges and uh, sometimes they were not paying salaries so that was a challenge then uh, Uh, and i had to fi- fight uh, i had to fight for uh, uh, salaries with other faculty members but we didn't get so lots of uh, challenges and uh, uh, then uh, i had the uh, financial problems then again covid struck so i thought i would uh, uh, join uh, as a faculty member but covid was a a big dampener in my life oh. and then uh, after uh, after covid ed- education has ch- changed there is a total uh, disruption globally and we have to reinvent with the changing times and technologies so friends you can see a, a excellent view here you can see i think pacific ocean from a long distance and you can see seattle 
from here. I think you can see the port. You can see beach. Yeah, I think CMA, CGM, something like that, some names. So, okay, let me take a look. Uh, if I go down, then ah, uh, yeah, I will. I will have a different view. Ah, good, excellent. Now I am able to see Seattle. You can see Seattle, very beautiful. You can see Asia Pacific Ocean view, harbor, beaches, cities. Uh, the uh, city light, uh, the name. Uh, I have seen uh, name city light. So big buildings. So all those things. Okay. Uh, so let me try to move forward. I can. Okay. Oh, there are some people. I think they are playing game. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh. Ah. Uh -huh. Yes. I have got. Yeah. I can see now. Space Needle from here. Yeah. Now I can see. Good. Very good. It's perfect. Perfect view. Yeah, I can see high-rise buildings. Oh, excellent! Space Needle, Harbor, Seattle. Excellent view. So let me try. Ah, good, good, good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Seattle. So now I have seen Seattle. A perfect view. Good. Okay. Now I'll go back. Okay, I am circling back to my story. So, uh, I published 53 books and I don't get uh, any money because uh, uh, books are not getting sold now. Secondly, we are, the world has changed. We are into more digital books rather than uh, printed books. And uh, lots of uh, stuff is available online. Chat, chat GPT has further changed, I think, uh, an year ago. So, lots of challenges. So, not challenges. So, let us embrace uh, technology. Let us embrace uh, change. Change is the only thing that is constant in this world. Change before you are... Before, uh, before you change, in the sense you you have to reinvent with the changing times and technologies life is all about learning unlearning and relearning so i want to write a memoir uh, I, I i have lots of triggers uh, uh, on on my uh, document so I want to write a final book that is a memoir uh, tentatively title it as survivor so I kept around 10 titles and most of my books start with S I myself don't understand why the world every book starts with S I'm exhausted. Good. No, you know I'm returning. Oh. And. Uh, I uh, I authored uh, 60 books uh, and I published uh, 53. Uh, still, seven books are uh, pending and publishers are uh, available. They are coming forward to publish, but uh, my health is not permitting. I have to edit, update.
I don't know update uh, through technology. So I usually am comfortable with my hand and uh, sometimes writing, sometimes typing. So like that, I did. So hopefully it may take one more year. So more than three years I have health challenges. Hopefully it may take one more year uh, to bounce back and uh, complete the leftover uh, projects. And then I will write a uh, memoir, tentatively titled Survivor. I'm the survivor. Oh. Oh. So, so I'll talk briefly about uh, Seattle. Sea Seattle is a very uh, a beautiful city. Uh, the, cl the, uh, the weather is very pleasant. Of course, sometimes it is uh, 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 dizzling, sometimes rainy, uh, sometimes weather is pleasant and now we are in the fall season and you can see the leaves getting changed so you can have an excellent view where the leaves are changing the color of the leaves are changing in this fall season i think more than month i'm to fall season seattle is uh, known as emerald city And I came to US for the first time. Ah, let me share my own story about uh, uh, my my journey in uh, uh, visa process. Five years back, uh, I said uh, that I was. Uh, I told my son that I was not interested to come to US. I would walk entire India, or I would travel entire India. Uh, like Swami Vivekananda for a year. Then COVID struck. And then I have changed and I myself asked my son that yes, I want to come to US. Then we applied for a visa. My wife and I applied for visa. Then what happened? My wife's uh, visa was approved. My visa was kept uh, hold for a few months because of my military background then we saw that is verified from Indian Air Force headquarters then they, they were they found it very authentic then they then they then they, 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 they themselves sent an email and also to, told us uh, telephonically to come to uh, a visa office and uh, take uh, get the uh, passport uh, uh, stamped then I came then I got my visa then uh, after I came out of the uh, office uh, I came to that I got only a visa for I think four to four, four, five months so it didn't work out in any way usually people get around uh, uh, five or ten years and I was given only four, four months or so <sighs> then what then I then I was upset but uh, okay then again I was very uh, very positive that okay that having a US visa is always uh, an asset then again I applied after COVID then it took more than uh, I think one year four months or so then I had a uh, 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 biometric uh, 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 okay, okay now I got uh, I got permission to walk so I'll walk just one minute oh. okay thank you. here uh, signal comes you know we can't go huh? 
only when we are when 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 we get uh, signal to walk then only we will walk otherwise we should not so here you can see people diversity a lot of diversity see people young people they are they are very smart people so young people i think they are running or i don't know they are going for a shopping i don't know so here we have to follow the rules and regulations rules remain same for everyone in us if you don't stick to the rules and regulations there will be penalty and there will be a fine so we have to be very careful when we come to us okay now circling back to this uh, story then uh, after having uh, by uh, then i had biometric uh, uh, prints uh, i think some two uh, three months back and then uh, visa visa officer asked a couple of questions the interview was only for uh, 10 minutes usually it would take 1 minute but again the visa officer asked us couple of questions for 10 minutes i responded to all questions and she has asked why did you come to why do you want to come to us what will you do what the purpose of visit and how long you'll be there in us is there anybody else what you did i responded to all questions and uh, uh, was there any other person with you oh just let me look at this so after grilling for 10 minutes then uh, the visa officer told uh, will process and uh, update you then again uh, i went to uh, receive my passport uh, with a lot of anxiety so after get, after i got my b1 b2 visa stamped i was on cloud 9 i was so excited and i was granted 10 years of visa so really <laughs> Uh, I, i i can't <laughs> i was not able to control my excitement i was on cloud 9 i was very much excited after having lot of grilling everything i got that too, after so many setbacks and cushion cushions then now what happened after i came to seattle immigration authority asked again they grilled for 10 10 minutes uh, do you have how much money you have and uh, Uh, why you are coming to uh, come to usa and uh, are you a green card are you a, yeah, are you an indian citizen or american citizen i said i am an indian citizen are you green your son does your son has a green card and uh, do you have any items here to check and i said you, you check everything then uh, again after grilling for 10 minutes my wife and i came out of the uh, immigration and we were very much relieved that we are we were set otherwise there are some cases where uh, uh, immigration people can uh, refuse and uh, send back uh, that's very rare situation so we had to be very careful with uh, uh interview or uh, yes other it is you have to be very authentic you should not tell lies if you tell lies uh, they are very smart and brilliant they'll catch you so be authentic uh be positive and uh, uh, uh handle crisis with grace handle crisis with under crisis handle crisis under grace handle crisis carefully so so this this was the story of my yes visa 
so now again i am coming back to my home it will take i think 10 minutes i don't 10 or 15 minutes so after i came to uh, seattle I, I think it's more than a month i think one and a half month i am in uh, seattle so i visited a couple of places uh, like space needle a zoo then glass uh, uh, glass uh, 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 glasses uh, full of uh, that one and uh, I visited uh, uh, Mount Rainier and I visited uh, Vol uh, Olympic National Park so so many places I visited and I had to visit some more places so my wife and I are very happy with our uh, younger son. So coming to US was a great great achievement for me and for my wife. We came to US to spend some uh, some time with my younger son because my younger son was with us in India for uh, 21 to 22 years. So he was away I think for seven years. So we wanted to spend some quality time with my uh, younger son that was the basic objective so I told my younger son also whether we are in India or whether we are in Seattle my wife and I remain in the home whether in India or in Seattle because I enjoy reading books I sit with uh, my laptop and uh, learn continuously and whenever my younger son uh, finds time he will invite us and we'll go for a, a, a small uh, tours so so enjoy the journey of life don't complain don't criticize and don't condemn others real strength is to adding value and making a difference in the lives of others real strength is not uh, Whining, real strength is not uh, criticizing, real strength is not uh, complaining, real strength is not uh, condemning, real strength is to adding value and making a difference in the lives of others. So I enjoy uh, sharing my stories to inspire the humankind and uh, I keep sharing my stories to impact the humankind and who knows if one of my stories uh, uh, connects with the right people uh, then uh, I'll reach to many people globally and I can make a difference so I'm persisting uh, uh, and sh sharing my stories, different stories in multiple platforms uh, to inspire the mankind because life is very short. Make it sweet, be happy. No whining and no criticizing, no condemning. So enjoy the journey of life and keep uh, sharing stories after the brain stroke I changed uh, I am not able to speak properly so I am using breath thinner the, uh, the good news is that I am alive <laughs> after the brain stroke I would have been dead but I survived uh, the good news uh, now is that I am alive and I am in uh, Seattle in USA I'm, I'm enjoying in the company of my younger son Ramkrishna Sai and with my wife so we are very happy so I share stories create stories uh, share stories to impact uh, humankind who knows uh, uh, some, of, uh, some, some of the stories uh, are appreciated and people share with uh, their connections and 
become viral globally says i feel that i made a difference i don't uh, look for any uh, rewards and awards i keep doing my work sincerely so since uh, I, since i didn't uh, look for any returns and uh, achievements uh, 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 i i didn't get any uh, any awards and rewards although i am 61 years old with uh, mental challenges physical challenges and financial challenges i am moving on i am storing my stories to impact human kind so i have four blogs uh i have been blogging for uh, uh i think 17 years i think the year 2007 i started blogging one of my students uh, encouraged me to uh, start a blog where knowledge is wealth then i i, I have passion for writing so i started blogging very long back i think it is now 17 years i think i don't remember exact the numbers after the brainstorm i am i'm not uh, very much comfortable with the numbers so for the from the year uh, 2007 onwards i started blogging i have four blogs and i am posting regularly and i have three youtube channels and uh, the idea of Uh, my youtube channel is not to make money or not to uh, monetize uh, but to record my memories and uh, and share with networks if 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 the audience uh, love they will share otherwise i'll keep them as my memories so people are relating from the bus it's a big deal so, Othello station, uh, 36. So it's a bakery, yeah? Bakery cave. Oh. Oh. So uh, my left hand is uh, painful and stressful. and i am holding with my left hand very challenging but still i am holding so when you are passionate about something you don't feel any pain and you don't get any stress and i have a continuous back pain for more than 15 years because of my continuous uh, uh, writing i i realized uh, only 10 years back that uh, uh, the my back pain became very challenging so doctor advised me to start walking of course i've been hitting gym for uh, more than 40 years apart from that i was advised by the doctor to start uh, walking so that i can overcome my back pain so i have back problem chronic back uh chronic back pain so oh. apart from uh, chronic back pain i have internal chronic internal allergies and i have chronic uh, problem with my uh, right shoulder and right hand so life is all about uh, challenges what can't be cured must be endured so i am enduring the pain so this is the message what can't be cured must be endured so now i can't do anything because of the back pain or because of the brain stroke so my passion speaks so i enjoy what i love doing despite all challenges i rose from the ashes like a phoenix everything happens for a reason everything all that happens for good 
so b positive and my blood group is b positive and i am positive by nature so see you can see people leaves falling somebody is collecting different leaves falling see leaves are falling see an elderly woman she is collecting the leaves we are in uh, fall season the color of the leaves change very fast here so really very beautiful city seattle we are now coming to this uh, american story america is a land of uh, opportunities america is a land of immigrants america is a land of dreams america is a land of hope not only for uh, americans but also the people across the world and many indians uh, uh, migrated from uh, 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 india to uh, america they adapted and succeeded and they are having better life so that is the reason why the people are uh, uh, trying to migrate to from india to developed countries especially uh, america australia so they, i have seen some people in india also they are very rich but still they are migrating to uh, uh america to enjoy uh, life better lifestyle in uh, america i there was a guy who was my neighbor and he is very rich own villa uh, three bhk house then other properties and he is working i think he is working in accenture or somewhere is i think he is somewhere in new jersey he came he came to usa and his wife uh, uh, is also well off and worked in she worked in uh, india health uh, industry she is uh, uh, well off and he is well off well off still they have come to uh, india so migration is the name of the game in the sense the name migration is a game in the sense where people uh, 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 from the villages in india are migrating to cities and people from the cities in india they are trying to migrate to uh, uh, developed countries so people are exploring for better opportunities better lifestyle in uh, in olden days people were coming to uh, parents uh, to their native places now the things have changed parents are coming with uh, their children to cities and some of them are coming to uh, us also so migration is the name the migration is happening we, we can't uh, check migration people migrated uh, from india to various countries very long back many years back they adapted to their own countries they are adapted the biggest strength uh, with uh, uh, indians uh, Uh, in us or wherever it is uh, we have couple of advantages uh, with the indians first of all we are uh, uh, very much adaptable that's one thing second thing uh, 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 we have english language which is an advantage uh, third uh, especially america we have freedom Uh, there are uh, better opportunities 
and uh, the people from uh, technical those who are having technical talent talent in uh, india they are coming to us they are uh, they, they have become ceos and they are leading from the front so there are so many advantages uh, why indians succeed and there are people even uh, 30 plus from india uh, who are unmarried in india they are applying for a visa and most of them are rejected by us uh, visa us visa other authorities so but still they keep trying so everybody looks for opportunities previously people were uh, caring for uh, uh, family uh, various other things now people are focusing on uh, career growth opportunities and they are sacrificing their families also uh, so things have changed the world is changing and still world will change so what i would like to share uh, everyone now i am uh, at my home uh, is uh, embras uh, change embras technology uh, be adaptable be resilient failure is only a comma not a full stop enjoy the journey life is beautiful life is creative yeah let me make a note life is beautiful life is amazing life is uh, 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 a miracle life is uh, magic life is full of uh, possibilities and opportunities life is really great enjoy the journey please uh, i would appreciate if you could uh, like my video and subscribe to my youtube channel who knows uh, if uh, one of you uh, share my videos uh, that can impact the world in a huge way thank you with gratitude